Hey guys, Walt here. And if you see my channel recently, then you would know that there was a lot of Gorilla Tag clones that have been flooding the app market day by day. Well, today I'm going to show you why I think these fan games are an issue not only to the people that play them, but also to the devs that keep pumping out these games minute by minute. I'll be going six factors to show you why I think these games will fail. So let's get into this. The first reason I have is oversaturation. Every time you open the app lab, you see hundreds, if not thousands of games that invade the app lab with no question. So what is the problem with this, you may ask? The problem lies within the originality. Basically anyone can make a Gorilla Tag fan game without any thought, barely any effort, just to shell out some cash or to get attention from other users. These games are just made almost the same with no personality at all. They get made, put onto a store that blends in with the crowd and brings nothing to the table. These games are just there for users to download for a day, maybe play for 30 minutes and never touch them again. The second reason I wanted to bring up is unoriginality. If you play almost any of these clones, you know a thing or two about these kinds of games. They will always try to copy Gorilla Tag by putting their game with the same movement, with the same tag mode, and making the maps look almost, if not identical, to the maps that Gorilla Tag has. These games feel like they do not even care about their player base or users that play the game. They just want to make a money generator or a attention giver from young kids that don't know better or don't know about the game at all. The third reason I have to have for this game is too many updates. Now you might be thinking, what is the problem with updating the game or making the game better through updates? You might be right to think that, but the real reason is besides the user itself. Updates will take time to spawn, especially for a VR headset that literally lags on the home screen. So even these updates are only 15 to 20 megabytes. That still makes players not want to play the game due to them seeing an update, waiting for it to download, play a bit, get off by an hour, and have to update the game again because the dev just wants to keep making update after update every single hour of every single day. This will make the user overwhelmed and not want to play the game or they get sick of these updates and leave the game. This is the main reason I want to bring up because almost every single Gorilla Tag clone you see, you see the same problem every single time. You see update after update after update and if you tell them why you're pumping out so many updates, they only give the one reason, which is to make the game better. Now, that's a good thing. You want to make the game better, but just do it in one big update. Do not just pump out small update after small update. Just giving the user not enough time to think about, like, why is there so many updates to this single game? The fourth reason I had, and what I think might be a very important reason, is design. If you want to make a good game, or even a good VR game, you want to make a great map that people would love to explore and a player model that people would love to look at and level design that people will actually enjoy. So it's always annoying to see a Gorilla Tag clone game that has potential, but then make a few things frustrating to the player that wants to enjoy the game. These problems boil down to horrible or too big maps for the player to move in at all. A horror mode or parkour mode parkour mode with no end or goal bugs and glitches that purge the game so much and make it unplayable to even touch the game and horrendous layouts or setting menus or even a dang name change menu for the player to change their own dang name this makes the player not want to do anything in this game or change any of the settings because they're gonna have a massive headache trying to do anything by going to the settings messing with a crappy keyboard or a weird board sometimes they have and get frustrated with controls and just stop and don't even care about them anymore because players are just tired with all these issues that they have the fifth reason I had is the shop and the atmosphere, which may not be important to some people, but it can be very crucial to keep players playing your game. When you go into a Gorilla Tag, you see why kids and teens play it and keep playing it, 
or just hang out in the shop. It has catchy music that isn't a five second loop and, kit and everyone actually enjoys. It looks polished, like they looked at the cosmetic and like, oh, this looks clean. Like, this is nice. People will like this. It has a shop layout that makes the users want to keep exploring and just walk around the shop, which makes them keep playing the game. But most of the fan games I have looked at don't even have that at all. They have a shop so big that just looking at it will make your head hurt. Or shop so small that going through a small door is a dang obstacle for them. Sometimes the prices for these items can be crazy. Like 50 days for like a spatula or something. I have looked at all of this and it's crazy. There's items that grant the player a competitive advantage for certain game modes like tag, like with a jetpack and a mod menu. And they don't even have a try before you buy feature. Like j just imagine you're playing Girl Tag and you see the double eye patch. You might think, oh, that's funny. Let's buy that. That would look, look cool. And you, you put you put on the cosmetic and you have to buy it. And you don't even know what it looks like on you until you buy it. Yeah. That's not fun at all. The cosmetic reason is my pet peeve since most of the items can block the user's view and they won't know about it until they use all their in-game currency on something they like, but they can't even see the cosmetic that they wear. My last reason that I wanted to bring up is more about the people who make the Gorilla Tag fan games or clones themselves. Like, I'm gonna give a good example for once and it's gonna be Fish Game. Fish game, you see the ideas that the developer has, and he expands on them and tries his best to make a game that is creative and does not fall into the Gorilla Tab rabbit hole. He even said himself when I was messaging him and talking about stuff, he doesn't want to add a tag mode because he does not want the game to be different or the same as every other game. He wants it to be an original product. That is what you want to hear from a developer. Even Penguin Paradise does this as well, with their Penguin Royale mode. But this is not the case for most uh, game devs. They add stuff before they even think about adding the stuff. They remake the game so many times that it makes players angry and not want to any part of the game at all. They do not follow a single path or roadmap or give a future to the players that give them an idea of what to look forward to. Even Gun Raiders has that. And that's not even a Gorilla Tag game. <laughs> I bet you Gorilla Tag has a dang roadmap of what they sh are going to do. It's like they had a blindfold when making the game and weren't even thinking about the future of it. They just kept on throwing darts until one of them hit. They would add all these cosmetics and they would remove all of them or most of them within a week later and people will get upset because they want their currency back for the cosmetic that they paid for. This is a great reason of why these games fail. They do something without thinking about it. They would make like suggestions or like something like that. Like that's a good thing. But they just blindly add everything that the fans want and don't think about what effect that it has on the people. And this can ruin the game's future as a whole. Anyway, that's all the reasons I have for today. I hope you all know why these games may fail or will not rise up like some of the other games like Penguin Paradise or Fish Game, hopefully. That's not going to rise anytime soon. I hope they actually take notes from this and they don't get offended by this because I want these, some of these games I actually enjoy and want to see them succeed and make a better game from it. But I don't think I will see this happening because most of the time when you talk to them about the devs, they get a little upset and don't take your advice seriously there's a lot of people there's still gonna be a lot of people that'll make a girl attack clone and fall into the rabbit hole and make the same six mistakes i have mentioned just like most of these games have anyway thank you for watching the video if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you like most of my content and you can join my discord server which is linked in the pinned comment anyway y'all have a great day